hello everyone welcome back to the channel hey, today video is extremely important if you want to work in data related it job in this video i am going to explore the top eight high paying data related it jobs in 2026 and beyond so everything i so if you want a high salary and long term career growth and job security then data field is the right place friends now the first questions will rise why data related it jobs will dominate the it industry in 2026 and the beyond the reason is in 2025 and 26 every id company becomes a data company such as banks healthcare and education related and even manufacturing related and uh, insurance and telecom related and retail related e-commerce related. all of them are heavily investing in artificial intelligence cloud related and cyber security related and devops related and automation and predictive analysis like this they are investing heavily on these things because without data companies cannot make decisions that's why salaries are increasing demand is increasing and new job roles are being created so now let's look at the top eight high paying data related it jobs the first one is artificial intelligence engineer or gen ai engineer why this role is paying high salary and high demand you know every company are adapting to ai technology like uh, chatbots search co-pilots document summarizes customer support automation a for medical data, A for banking KYC verification. Uh, like this, there are many features are there and many applications are there implementing. And what is the average salary for this A engineer or Gen A engineer, you know? Suppose if you have uh, like five years or six years of experience or five to seven years of experience, then you can expect up to 15 lakhs to 25 lakhs or 30 lakhs also. Okay, it depends on the company and uh, location. Suppose you are a senior developer, like around uh, uh, 8 years or 10 years of experience, then you can expect around 40 lakhs to 50 lakhs or 60 lakhs as well. Then what type of uh, skills I have to learn to become a Gen A engineer or A engineer? You know? First you have to learn Python programming language and then fine tuning LLMS, Langchain, Vector Databases, RAG Pipeline, ML OPS Basics, Cloud Platforms like AWS, Azure or GC. So why it will grow in 2026 and beyond, uh, you know, because every company wants to reduce the cost and uh, to increase the efficiency. So A engineers are genuine, are very demanded, especially healthcare, BFSI, banking, finance and insurance, okay, and uh, telecom as well. And second, and second one is data engineer job role. So this is the backbone for every data project. Why this is high paying, you know, every company wants to move from on-premises data to cloud platforms like AWS, Azure or GCP. And also they, and also they want a strong data pipeline. Then what is the average salary for this uh, data in job role? For, uh, for three to five years of experience, you can expect from 12 lakhs to uh, up to 22 or 25 lakhs as well. Suppose if you are above uh, 6 years, then you can expect uh, 25 to 35 lakhs or 40 lakhs up to 40 lakhs as well if you have around uh, 10 years of experience. Then what are the skills required to become this kind of data engineer, you know, data factory, data bricks and uh, PySpark, uh, Airflow, Kafka, SQL and Python. So these are the core skills to become a data engineer. Why it will grow? What is the main reason to grow uh, in 2026 and the beyond, you know, because every business is becoming data driven so that is the reason without data engineers or artificial intelligence and uh, analytics engineers you cannot run the any application so this is one of the safest and job security uh, it job in the upcoming year. next one is ml engineer or ml ops engineer why is this ml engineers required for every company you know companies have ml models but who will deploy monitor and automate these models that's where ml ops comes in so the average salary for this kind of job roles, you know, for mid-level uh, professionals, so 15 to 30 lakhs per annum and for seniors, 30 to 50 lakhs per annum. Then what type of skills required to become an ML engineer, you know, ML pipelines, Kubernetes, Docker, CACD, uh, SageMaker, ML flow. Then why it will grow in upcoming years, you know, because AI needs automation. So no company wants manual process for machine learning. And next one is data scientist. So data scientist role is still high paying role because it requires mathematics plus business understanding. The skills are required uh, to become a data scientist, you know, machine learning, statistics, Python, NLP, SQL, Tableau or Power BI. 
so the average salary for this uh, uh, data scientist you know so if you are a uh, 0 to 3 years of experience 8 to 15 lakhs package if you are a 4 to 8 years of experience 18 to 30 lakhs per annum if you are a senior that means more than 8 years of experience 30 to 45 lakhs or 50 lakhs per annum then why it will grow you know because business problems cannot be solved using AI models alone companies need people who can understand data plus business and next one is the analytics engineer so this is so this is one of the fastest growing data role globally why it is high paying you know because every company wants people who can clean data model it and make it ready for dashboards skills required dbt sql etl pipeline snowflake tableau or power bi what is the average salary for mid-level software engineers you know 12 to 25 lakhs per annum for senior developers 25 to 35 lakhs per annum why this job role is growing in the upcoming years you know because it is a mix of data engineering plus analysis and coding is less required and the next job role is a big data engineer it is still in demand especially in product companies fintech ott and logistics what are the main skills are required to become a big data engineer you know spark kafka hbase hive scala or python and the average salary for this big data engineer is 15 lakhs to 30 lakhs per annum why it is still growing uh, demand you know because uh, real-time string apps need big data engineers last one is power bi plus the data modeling specialist so to become a power bi or data modeling specialist the skills required dax sql data modeling etl basics why this job role is growing you know every business is required dashboards and data insights are business insights uh, now you may have doubt which role is easy to enter into the it industry so i will tell you few of the job roles easy to enter without having a mathematical background also the first one is analytics jobs like uh, uh, the first one is analytics engineer like uh, you should know dbt sql snowflake or tableau or power bi and second one is junior data engineer and third one is and third one is data analyst and fourth one is power bi plus data modeling these job roles are without having a heavy uh, mathematics and coding you can easily enter into the software industry okay and if you have good mathematics uh, knowledge or experience and background and also have knowledge on coding also then you can choose data scientist a engineer ml engineer okay so like this you can choose because which data it course you are interested to learn in the upcoming year so please comment in the comment section and so if you still have any doubts on this session so please comment in the comment section i will reply to your comments so i will meet you with one more useful content video till then thank you much